All came to the came to an end at the here at the fifth precinct after a three hour standoff and a shootout with police and that murder suspect being shot and killed by police. The victim in all of this, a young mother earlier tonight, we had a chance to speak to her family who says that victim, that mother was in the process of trying to get out of a lengthy abusive relationship when it all took a tragic turn. This situation was definitely a situation that she wanted to handle peacefully, but she wasn't given that opportunity. The family of Siobhan Mitchell says she had a relationship with Kevin Fox dating back to high school. The two have a five year old son together, but her family says otherwise. It was a relationship filled with turmoil and a pending court case for domestic abuse. She just didn't understand how dangerous he really was. And when she found out it was too late. Fox is said to be responsible for her death. She was shot and killed around 1115 Monday night at Grand River and West Warren. She was coming from work, so she thought that she may have been safe because she was just doing her normal thing. Mitchell's family says they were getting cryptic text messages from Fox. Bragging about what he had done when we couldn't even find her. So we were in limbo for hours until DPD, who did a great job. Thank you so much. After killing Mitchell, Fox made his way to the 5th Precinct, shooting at police, injuring an officer with bullet shattered glass, before eventually being shot and killed by police. Chief James Craig says there were times the suspect threatened to bring his five-year-old son into the situation. She was a victim of domestic violence for years. And when she finally decided, to walk away, he began using their son as a pawn. That child is now in the care of family, who is very appreciative of all the support they've received. Everyone from our high school friends to the governor, right. to Governor Whitmer, and we Mayor. appreciate, yes, Mayor Duggan, we appreciate all the support from every, everyone. And another reason this family is deciding to share this tragic story tonight is the hope that somebody out there watching who might find themselves in a similar abusive relationship will do everything within their power, reach out for the resources that are available out there to get out of that situation before it's too late. Reporting live in Detroit tonight, Dave Spencer, Fox 2 News. Dave, we also extend our condolences. We know the victim's family is grieving tonight, including Representative Yancey. Has she talked to you about her plans to address the issue of domestic violence? Yeah, she really told us that this really strikes home that in the past she's heard from con uh, constituents rather that say uh, domestic violence is a real problem, mental health on top of that. She says that she plans to take a long, hard look, knowing the impact that it really can have and plans to do something in the near future. It can happen to anyone, anytime, to any family. Dave, thank you.